Hello, welcome back to AJM Learn CSS Hacks. So today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about adding drop shadows to all of those individual elements in your header. So I find that also, excuse the way this page looks, it's obviously set up for examples and it's not functioning, um, but I tend to use a lot of overlay headers on my website. So, you know, your navigation, everything would be overlaying your hero image, um, which can really, be problematic with the readability of your navigation, your logo might not pop as much as you want to, etc. So I finally sat down and decided to figure out how to target every single element in the header so we don't have that problem anymore. Um, okay, so here obviously it's not overlaid over a photo, but it's easier to see the drop shadows applied in this way. So I'll get started. Again, as always, it's just simple copy and paste. Um, really, the only thing you're going to need to change at all this time is if you wanted to change like the darkness of the shadow or the angle or anything like that. So first, um, adding drop shadow to the navigation links, you can see that pops in right here. You can change the darkness. Um, that's what I tend to change, but you can play around with how much the drop shadow is spread, the angle of it, all of that in here. If you wanted it to be a different color, you could, of course, change um, the RGB as well. Next, adding it to the logo. Again, just gonna fly, fly through these because they're pretty simple. Applied to the logo there. I use this one probably the most to really help um, the logo kind of pop off the page. It's fun to add, like change the color um, and add more of like a branded color as a drop shadow. I do that a lot, just depending on you know the styling of the site. Um, next, sorry, skipped ahead. <laughs> this is for the buttons or for the button, so you can see a drop shadow was applied here to the button. Next, if you have a drop down menu, I don't on the site, but I created one um, just to show you. So you can see the drop shadow appears there in your drop down menu. Excuse my dog in the background making crazy noises. I feel like that's a theme of my videos. Um, next, social icons, you can see the drop shadow pop in there. And lastly, again, excuse my announcement bar that's totally illegible on this page, but you can see the drop shadow pop in there. That's it, it's super simple. One thing I do wanna note as well, I'll make sure to put this in the bottom of the post, but the best thing about this post is that really getting these pieces and knowing how to target each thing is really the battle. And now that you have those, you can do different stuff. So um, this just gives you the drop shadow, but whatever other CSS you'd wanna play around with, you at least now can target it. 